In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to use your uh, TI calculator in order to find uh, the equation of the regression line, the linear correlation coefficient, as well as the uh, coefficient of determination, R squared. Okay, I'm going to pause for a few uh, moments, allow you to go ahead and enter the study time as your x variable into list 1 and the score as your y variable into L2. You may pause at this time yourself and enter those into x1 and x2. Okay, let's get started. So I have entered my values into L1 and L2. So the uh, study time as my X, I stored it in L1, and the midterm score as Y variable, and I stored that in L2. Now to find the equation of the regression line, we're gonna press a stat. We're going to arrow to the right to go to calculate. And then you can simply select 8, even though you may not see it on your screen. Your X list will be L1. Your Y list will be L2. And if there is anything in front of the frequency list or store regression equation, use the clear button to clear them. And then all you have to do is just press calculate. So here I have the value for A and the value for B, but as you notice, the R and R squared are missing. So to fix this, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna press second, then press the zero button, and then I'm going to arrow down several times until I get to diagnostic on. There are other ways to do it, but this is the most common way. So just keep going until, to, until you get to diagnostic on. It's in alphabetical order, so it's coming up. So once the diagnostic on is on the screen, you're going to press enter the first time to select it and the second time to actually do it. So your screen should say diagnostic on done. Now let's go back and uh, do the calculation again. Press the start, arrow to the right to the calculation, option eight, your X list will be L1, your Y list will be L2, and frequency list and a store regression equation, make sure it's blank, there is nothing there. If there is anything there, you're gonna use the clear key to clear it, and then you press calculate. So now as you see, we have the value of A, B, R squared, and R, and if you check with the previous recordings, you'll see that uh, we got the same value by using the formulas directly. Now I'm going to do this with the option of no menu. So I'm gonna go to uh, mode. I'm gonna arrow up and I'm gonna turn off my stat wizard. Stat, calculate, option eight. This time there is no menu, but we need to tell the calculator where the data is. We entered the X in list one, so we're gonna go second one for L1. 
Now we need to separate that from the next one and we do that by pressing comma which is directly above 7 and now we need to tell the calculator where the Y values are stored and they were stored in L2 so we're going to press second 2. So L1 was for X entries and L2 is for corresponding Y values. And all we have to do now, press enter. And notice that we get the same values, the same results. I hope this presentation helped you understand how to use your TI calculator to find the equation of the regression line, the linear correlation coefficient, as well as the coefficient of determination.